What's good YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask if y'all please get on there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, we got some news concerning Nether Realm and the next game. No, I don't know what the next game is. I have no idea. I'm just like y'all. I have no idea what it is. I just hope whatever it is, I just hope it's good. And for damn sure, it better be better than MK11. Nothing against the people that still like and play MK11. I'm still one of those people that still will play every now and then. However, I'm just ready for the next fighting game. I just am. I don't want to play, you know, any of the other fight type fighting games to have out there. I want a game that plays like another round fighting game. You understand what I'm saying? Not Mortal Kombat 11, but I'm. If I have a preference here, I'd much rather prefer a fighting game from Netherrealm, an American-made fighting game, versus anything else they got out there right now. That's just my preference. If you if you like something else different, that's you. My preference is a Netherrealm fighting game, and games that play like Netherrealm games, minus MK11. Now, having said all that. We have an article here from GameRant.com, man, a very notable source concerning the news with the next fighting game. And the news of the next fighting game is that Mortal Kombat developer NetherRealm Studios is hiring senior com a senior combat designer, and I'm quoting here, with a passion for action and fighting games. Now, having said all that, we're going to read the article, we're going to react, that's just how we do. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into this news. NetherRealm Studios is looking for a senior combat designer for its newest game, specifically mentioning both Mortal Kombat and Injustice. I'm going to stop right there. If they're hiring for, there's no reason for them, there's no logical reason for them to be hiring a senior combat designer for its newest games and mentioning Mortal Kombat and Injustice without having both of them in the future. Do I think either of them to be the next game? I don't know. I have no idea. But... Let's just say I'm, I have a pretty good feeling, minus something catastrophic happening, that we're probably going to be getting an installment of both going forward in the future. When, I don't know, but they're both definitely happening. Let's continue. Over the 12 years since NetherRealm Studios was formed following the fall of Midway, the developer has made a name for itself as a staple of the fighting game genre. Inheriting the iconic Mortal Kombat franchise and breathing new life into the stagnating series in the Mortal Kombat in Mortal Kombat 9, excuse me, as well as bringing its fighting know-how to the DC universe with Injustice, the developer quickly became a mainstay in the industry with plenty of big-name games under its belt. Now, a recent job listing from the developer suggests NetherRealm Studios' next big project may already be on the way. Now let me stop right there and also say we already knew this when they cut the production on, on Mortal Kombat 11 as early as they did you would hope that damn it they would at least have something they were already working on. And another reason why I truly believe and this is just me this is just my opinion another reason why I truly believe that they that they cut production down or cut or cut support down I should say on Mortal Kombat 11 is because they were already working on that next game while they were still working on this one. I could be wrong about that, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were. And plus, they just cut the, speaking of support, they just cut the support way too fast. You understand what I'm saying? It was just like, all right, y'all get this, you know, these one, two small little updates, you know, in 2021, in 2020, and that's it. You get this one little small update in 2021, and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? After a long hiatus of not giving the game nothing really new to play for. You understand? Or nothing to, nothing new to really, no new content to really do anything with. You understand what I'm saying? But that's just me. Let's continue. Since taking over the Mortal Kombat franchise following Midway's bankruptcy in 2009, NetherRealm Studios has not only continued the gory, the gory fighting franchise with three new main series games, but expanded its repertoire into other properties since being acquired by Warner Brothers. Injustice saw NetherRealm taking a page from Marvel's book pitting some of DC Comics' most iconic names against one another. Now a job listing from NetherRealm is seeking out a senior combat designer paying particular, paying particular mention to its two biggest franchises. Like I said, there is absolutely no way, unless there's something absolutely catastrophic happening to prevent that from happening, prevent these next games from happening, there is absolutely no way that Injustice 2 and Mortal Kombat 11 are the last, are the last installments of Injustice or Mortal Kombat. We're definitely going to get at least one more of each barring anything catastrophic happening you understand what i'm saying barring anything catastrophic those games are definitely happening i see no reason not to for them not to those are the biggest cash cows that nether realm has to that name right now you understand what i'm saying right now at this very moment could they switch it up 
could be. Would I like to see it? You know, as long as it's done right, you know, Rage King really don't give a damn. As long as the game play right and as long as it's acting right, I really don't give a damn. As long as it's good, I'll play it. You understand what I'm saying? That's all I'm really waiting on. I'm really just waiting on. Y'all hear me talk uh, Y'all hear me talk my noise about a lot of these games I hear, man. But honestly, I'm just daring one of these gaming companies to shut me the hell up. I I'm daring y'all. Sh shut me up. Y'all tired of hearing my mouth? Y'all here to time me? Y'all here to time? Y'all tired of hearing me talk crap about your game and your developers? Okay, then damn it, give me a game that's not worth talking bad about. Give me a game that's giving me nothing but good things to say about it. I'm daring y'all at this point. I'm I'm not even begging. I'm daring y'all to give me a game that's not worth getting on y'all ass about. I dare y'all to give me a decent. I dare y'all to give me a game that don't do that. Specifically, a sports game or a fighting game. I'm daring y'all to shut me up. I want to see it happen. I want to see it happen. The day y'all shut up Rage King, that's what I'm waiting on. Doubt it's going to happen anytime soon, but I'm waiting on it. Let's continue. The listing posted to Warner Media's career site looks to add a senior combat designer to NetherRealm Studios with a focus on game design specifically related to combat, balance, and character tuning. That's a very important sentence right there, in my opinion. You want to know why? Because anybody that's played Mortal Kombat 11 knows that those three things that they just mentioned, balance, combat, and character tuning, are some of the biggest flaws in Mortal Kombat 11. You understand what I'm saying? They are having problems across the board on everything they just mentioned. The characters are not balanced, not all the way. You got some characters that are balanced, and you got some characters that are just completely broken. You got some characters that literally feel unfinished because they, they're they lacking so much more compared to the rest of the roster. Then you got characters that's literally got everything that should have been going to those characters still lacking tools that they needed to be successful online or, or however you play the game. You understand what I'm saying? But again, that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know if y'all feel different. The page makes specific mentions to features like motion ca motion capture, mm, motion capture. We're gonna come back to that in a sec, making it highly unlikely the position is for a mobile game like some of NetherRealm's previous listings. Motion capture. You know what that tells me? And I could be wrong about this, but to see that they are hiring for motion motion capture, things like motion capture, that lets me know that not only is the other game on the, on the way, whatever it may be, but that also lets me know that they could very well be switching game engines. I made the video about them being on Unreal Engine 3, uh, um, uh, what they called a modded and updated version of Unreal Engine 3, and come to find out, they we thinking they're on Unreal Engine 4, and they still 10, 5, 10 years behind the gaming curve. Guys, we are getting ready to go to Unreal Engine 5, and yet this game that you see being played in the background, Unreal Engine 3, make it make sense. So seeing motion capture being hired for, they're hired for motion capture, that just lets me know that they very well could be switching engines. Let's finish this article off, man. <clears throat> NetherRealm also specifically mentions both of the developers' flagship franchises in the application, name-dropping both Mortal Kombat and Injustice, with no specific mention being made on what the actual project is. While a new Mortal Kombat or Injustice has yet to be officially announced, the newest game from NetherRealm Studios has been the subject of plenty of rumors in the recent months. Mortal Kombat creator Ed Boon has spoken multiple times on the developer's newest project teasing fans that a major game is on the horizon, although being unable to speak on a new Mortal Kombat or Injustice for various reasons. A new Mortal Kombat would be the franchise's first game since 2019's Mortal Kombat 11, while Injustice saw its last main series entry in 2017 with Injustice 2. While, Mortal Kombat franchise, while the Mortal Kombat franchise has yet to reveal the long-running fighting game series with series' 12th game, Mortal Kombat 11 has remained one of the premier titles in the fighting game circuit. Mortal Kombat 11 received regular updates for over two years, speak for yourself, before focus shifted to the developer's next game on July 2021, and that is the end of the article. So definitely a lot to take in right there, but like I've said before, and I'll say again in the end of the video, man, I just hope that whoever they hire and whatever they got planned, I just hope it's good, because damn it, I'm ready for the next installment for another Realm game. I need a new fighting game in my life. But that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this, man. That's the end of my video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure making it for y'all, and I'll see y'all next time.